Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney Springs and we're gonna be doing brunch at the House of Blues. And I'm very excited because recently I've done the brunch at the Boathouse and now I feel like I'm on this trend of trying all the different brunch spots here at Disney Springs. So, let's go do this. It is a beautiful Saturday afternoon. Look at those crisp blue skies and then the balloon going up in the air right at this moment. The Boathouse Brunch was a really cool experience because they had like dueling pianos and you sang along. It was a captain's brunch. So it's going to be nice to see how House of Blues compares to that. You can watch the video for the uh, Boathouse if you want. I'll put the description in the uh, title of this video and uh, you can check it out and tell me which one you think is better. Here is the sign they have out front. It says weekend brunch, Saturdays and Sundays, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. A new brunch menu with live music. Look at that, chicken and donuts. Also, bottomless mimosas and Bloody Marys? Now that's something the Boathouse didn't have. I'm gonna be joining up with some friends and while I wait for them, I figured I would just hang out on the porch and go over the menu a little bit. Sounds like they have some live music actually happening at the moment. It's really fun. It's a cool atmosphere here at the House of Blues. Here is the offerings they have for brunch and it's a la carte. So they got like a breakfast burrito, a chicken and donuts, a Tennessee toast, a brisket hash, a morning smash burger. Some really good things actually to choose from. It's not all you can eat, but they do have the bottomless mimosas and Bloody Marys for only $15, which that's not a bad deal, especially if you can drink five or 10 of them. I do remember a while back they had a gospel morning brunch and that was all you can eat. It was set up like a buffet in the back room, but that has changed since then. And this is the new weekday or weekend brunch. One of my favorite things is to just look around the House of Blues. They have so many cool decorations. This is the courtyard area right here. And this is basically a seat yourself service, but take a look at all these cool like figurines here this is a band they're jamming out look at the gas the gas cap or the gas tank this is really awesome what is his name I would call him I would call him Rick I don't know why he looks like a Rick to me if you guys happen to know of any other good brunch spots that I can visit please let me know in the comments uh, I have been to California brunch before and I cannot wait to go back once it does open but so far uh, I've only been to the Boathouse and here at Disney Springs. I know there's a lot of other good ones. Brunch is becoming a very popular thing and I'm starting to like it a little bit because I like a little breakfast, I like a little lunch, I like to mix it up a little bit and I also like mimosas so it's like a perfect time period for me to eat. The live music is actually on the inside so it's a really cool atmosphere to come and enjoy your brunch, drink your mimosas, and just look at all the amazing decor in the restaurant. It's packed here too. Like this is a very busy restaurant. I ran into my friend Ania and she's already given me the information that I need to try homecoming for brunch. So that's gonna be next on my list. I'm gonna try to make my way through the springs checking out all the brunch spots. And I hope you guys enjoy this series. Let me know and give me feedback. That way I know what I'm doing so that you guys enjoy the entertainment and the videos because I enjoy making them, let me tell you that. Like I just love being here and trying all the amazing food. And uh, it's like a double bonus that if you guys enjoy it too. We made it to the table and I joined up with my friends, Villains and Vice. Hello friends. Hello. <laughs> and they've had the brunch here before and they always talked about the breakfast shot. So I think we're going to get a shot for breakfast. Jameson, butterscotch snaps, orange juice, and bacon. What can go wrong? <laughs> oh, and look at them. Here they come. That is a scary combination. Oh, and of course we got the mimosas. Mimosas and breakfast shots. <laughs> I don't believe I've ever had a breakfast shop before, but there's a first time for everything, and what better time than brunch at House of Blues? It comes in two different glasses, so I'm not sure how this works. Maybe we'll have to like car bomb it. Like maybe that you, you, you car bomb it, right? Like you you pour it in the other drop one and it just in drop. And go. <laughs> I don't know, but we'll figure it out. So I believe the order we should do it in is we drink this use this as a chaser and then eat the bacon kind of like a tequila shot with like the the salt 
yeah. the exactly. salt and then you uh, eat the lime and wow. yeah. yeah okay Shot, sweet salt. yeah Shot citrus salt. salt yep oh wow that's a lot going on <laughs> well I guess we're gonna cheers yeah. Cheers to uh, breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh, look at that. Oh, wait. Ooh. And then the bacon. Yeah, then you gotta get the bacon afterwards. Yep. We're kind of learning as we go here. <laughs> These were absolutely amazing. Definitely something you should shoot. You, like, you should shoot this. It's a shot. I'm glad that we did it the way that we did. <laughs> so, of course, the breakfast shot was delicious, but now it's mimosa time, and these are bottomless. Oh, and the food is here. Wow, that's the shrimp and grits. And then we got the smash burgers. Awesome, thank you. Oh. Mine's not here. No food for me. But that looks amazing. Wow, I feel like I should have gotten that. But here mine is. I got the chicken and donuts. And look at this thing. I like how they have it on this little like wood plank. You can just lift it up. You raise me up. I almost dropped it. I was like, oh boy, I brought it down quick. Yeah, look at that. Amazing. They even have like a honey sriracha sauce with the maple syrup. I like it a lot. I really appreciate the live music in here. I think he's doing a great job and he's playing some of my favorite like music from the 90s. And that's what I like. I like a 90s music brunch. Even though I like the captain's brunch. But this is fun. This is really good. sure how I attack this chicken and donuts. Maybe cut the chicken, cut the donut, dip it in the syrup. But I do want to try the honey sriracha sauce. So maybe we'll do one honey sriracha, one syrup. So that way we can see which one we like better. So first we'll try the syrup. Ooh. I shouldn't have done that. Now I got syrup smelling on my shark. Syrup on my shark, but the chicken donut syrup combo was good. But now I want to add a little bit of the honey sriracha. Now I think I'm going to like this a lot more because it's a little bit too sweet with the syrup because the donuts are frosted really nice, but add a little spice. So now we got like sweet, savory, and spicy all in one bite to win. More mimosas, please. I like how they have it like in a craft. A craft. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I think this is going to be the winning combination right here. I'm going to try some of the shrimp and grits, though. Heavily full of cheese, so it's usually not my thing, but I do love grits. But um, yeah, it's worth a try. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do it. She's bacon in there. She gave me like a good uh, a good amount of bacon on top of it, so it could you know kind of undertone the cheese. But I love grits in general. Very good grits. They are. They are good grits. Yeah, very good. And I like the uh, pesto in it. Very oh, good. Chimichurri. Oh, is it a chimichurri? Mm -hmm. Oh, I love the chimichurri then. Chimichurri. You should have seen the way he scooped the grits right off of my fork like a professional. I forked them. He forked them. <laughs> Either way, I have to say, all the food is amazing. Even the grits. They both had the burgers, but they're gone. They were that good. 
They were good. They were so good. They're gone. And I'm just finishing up. I got like a half a donut yet. I, I feel like the chicken to donut ratio isn't that great. They give you two tenders and two donuts, but the donuts are much bigger. So, you know, I don't have anything else to pair up with this one. But the honey sriracha is my favorite combination out of all of it. And plus a little powdered sugar. Got to get that. <laughs> They're really good with refilling the mimosas. I think I've had three of them so far. And they're, they're, good. they're delicious. Delicious mimosas, delicious donuts, delicious chicken, delicious breakfast shots, good music. I think this is a good brunch. Better company. Better company, good company? <laughs> yes, yes, this is good. I'm liking the House of Blues. <laughs> and we might as well make it four. Yes, <laughs> anyway, we get him. Let me grab a new Oh, a fresh one. A fresh craft. Thank you. So, just along with a breakfast shot, I didn't know existed. I didn't also know that there was breakfast or brunch dessert. And they have a, a pretty amazing brunch dessert. It's like a bread pudding. And I'm excited to try it because I love bread pudding. And this is the whiskey, whiskey butter uh, bread pudding. Look at that. Insane, right? I've never seen whiskey butter, whiskey butter bread pudding before. I feel like that's a tongue twister. <laughs> Listen, why did you go with the opposite? <laughs> oh, wow. Look at us all. <laughs> I love it. Scoop. Scoop see potato. <laughs> and you know, do I have something on my chin? <laughs> I think I did. I think I had. A, I think I had some icing on my chin. Oh boy! <laughs> but <laughs> we're gonna try the bread pudding now. And you know I love Ohana's. And you mentioned Ohana's bread pudding getting all the love. You know you can get Ohana's at Kona, right? You can get Ohana's bread pudding at Kona now. But this is better. Oh, wow. oh, you gotta have wait, butter. I gotta get a little butter. I got a butter scoop. I got a butter scoop. I got a, a better butter scoop. <laughs> that is no joke, and I can literally say it is just as good as Ohana. Like, it is actually, it might be better. Like, I really like the whiskey butter, and it adds just like a, a, a little kick to it. Very delicious. Good job, House of Blues. Good job. How many months does she have? <laughs> yeah, wait a second here. You think you half empty when she came. It's gonna be. <laughs> So after a wonderful brunch, I think uh, we're gonna head on out of here. But one last cheers before we go. Three hours later. Three hours later. How many mimosas do you think we had? I would say... More than we deserve. Yeah, I would say maybe like six or seven, right? Perhaps. <laughs> and with that, I think we are done inside the House of Blues. It was so much fun. I really, really enjoyed the brunch here. Like, it was a good mixture of just nice atmosphere. The chicken and donuts were phenomenal. The breakfast shot was a nice touch. And the bottomless mimosas is like a, a key essential thing for brunch. So, I think we're gonna hang out and walk around Disney Springs a little bit. Beth, uh, my friend, who uh, they have a channel called Villains Advice, mentioned that it was really cool that uh, House of Blues does brunch on Saturdays and Sundays, where most places just do Sundays. So that really gives them uh, an upper hand here, I think. And uh, I would definitely come back. I would definitely do this again, but I'm excited to try other brunch spots around the Springs. As you can see, it is spring break here at Walt Disney World or in Florida in general. And most of the crowds are just a little bit higher at the Springs because there's no reservations to get in the parks. So you uh, can't go to the park even if you're staying on property. So what else is there to do but hang on at Disney Springs? And like I said earlier, now that I'm kind of on this brunch kick, I've already been suggested to go to Homecoming because I hear they have a fantastic brunch. So I think I might go over there and just kind of check out the area. I want to see if it's only open on Sundays or if they do it on Saturdays. And uh, I don't know, just kind of scope out the situation a little bit. It's definitely next on my list of brunch spots. 
So yeah, I just checked and Homecoming does brunch on Saturdays and Sundays from 9.30 to 1 p.m. I think we might uh, try to set up a reservation for maybe next week. In preparation for when I do come to homecoming for brunch, I decided to get the 22 ounce jumbo squeeze bottle, which is a refillable one. And take a look at this. So this is a sweet tea moonshine. And now when I bring this back for brunch, it's only gonna cost me $13 to fill it up, which is an amazing deal. I'm happy that I decided to bring this. So this actually encourages me like more to come to do the brunch. And now we found a nice little spot to come and relax and drink our moonshines. I got the sweet tea moonshine and this is phenomenal. And I just love the springs because I love seeing the blue skies and just having good spots. Now, normally it's not easy to find good spots to sit down because it's super crowded, but we looked out right here because this is the beautiful view. Right outside Boathouse, you can see we have some of the ampy cars launching into water right there. And we're just relaxing, listening to music, and enjoying this wonderful Disney Springs view. It's a perfect Saturday afternoon. And it looks like the live music actually started, and this is really entertaining. The perfect sunset is happening right at the same time. A little bit of Eddie Maserati right there. Wow. Yeah. I love all the live performances that they have going on, basically celebrating Women's History Month. You can see the signs, they say, celebrate her story, and she was phenomenal, right? I really thought I was actually in Animal Kingdom, and it was a great performance, and Eddie Maserati was jamming out here. Beautiful, especially with the sunset and all. I'm really enjoying my night here at the Springs. Just take a look at that sunset. Isn't it amazing? I can't get over this. My friends actually went out on an ampy car ride, so I'm waiting for them to come back, and it looks like they're pulling into station here. I've done the ampy car many of times before, but because of social distancing, uh, they don't allow as many people as they usually do. So I was like, you guys go for the ride because it is fun, and I've done it before, and I wanted them to experience it, and this is the perfect time. Oh, looks like here they come. you guys well I think that's gonna do it for me tonight we've been here since brunch it's almost seven o'clock now we've been here all day long and I've just been having such a great time so I hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it I'm excited to make more brunch videos in the future and we'll see you next time. Bye!